Today we have brought you an update about the Tesla Autopilot system. Consumer reports shows you can trick Autopilot to leave driver's seat. So let's get started. NHTSA and NTSB are still investigating the crash that killed two men in Spring, Texas, but central to the question of what happened is whether or not Tesla's Autopilot driver assist system can function without anyone in the driver's seat. Consumer Reports has now answered that question in a recent video. We'll save you the suspense, it can, but not without intentionally defeating Tesla's safety measures. Jake Fisher, Senior Director of Auto Testing at Consumer Reports, took a 2020 Tesla Model Y to a closed test track to perform this experiment. He buckled the seat belt, sat on it, and then engaged autopilot while he was still in the driver's seat. He next set the speed to zero using the right spoke of the steering wheel and placed a small chain with two tape rolls on the left side of the steering wheel to mimic the force a driver's hand on the wheel would have, as the system demands. Then Fisher moved to the front passenger seat and increased the speed using the right spoke again. He raised it to 30 miles per hour, and the car drove as if there were somebody in the driver's seat. If there is a seat sensor to detect, if someone is there, it is not used by autopilot, at least not after the system is engaged. Fisher's conclusion is that it is not difficult to trick autopilot into driving with no one behind the wheel. Other systems, such as GM's Super Cruise, use a seat sensor and rear-facing cameras to monitor if the driver is paying attention to the road. That said, no one's ever tried to defeat Super Cruise, or another automaker's system like this, so we can't say whether or not autopilot is the only system that can be tricked like this. Consumer Reports editor stressed the goal was not to try to clarify anything about the crash, investigators have not determined how or why the driver was found in the car's back seat. The main goal was to verify if the safeguards the system uses to prevent abuse work. The organization concludes that driver monitoring systems need to work harder to keep drivers from using the systems in foreseeably dangerous ways. According to Fisher, Tesla has done a great job at making EVs popular, but they seem to be using their customers as development engineers as they work on self-driving technologies, and they need to do a better job of keeping them safe. That point is far from revelatory and something critics and fans of Tesla have been arguing about for years. Another such experiment was conducted by hackers at McAfee. Hackers at McAfee produced a video revealing this experiment. Essentially, they used some tape and edited a speed limit sign to see how a Tesla on autopilot would react. However, it's important to note that the test car was a first-gen Tesla Model S using Mobilize early autopilot system. The most interesting part of the experiment is that while the hackers made a simple change to the speed limit sign, just adding a longer line on the number 3 on a 35 miles per hour sign, the car seemingly saw it as an 8. The hackers could have simply changed the sign to read 85 miles per gallon, but it wanted to see if the car would recognize the minor change differently than a human may see it. More specifically, a human would likely still see 35, but the car assumed 85. Hackers have manipulated multiple Tesla cars into speeding up by 50 miles per hour. The researchers fooled the car's mobile U3 camera system by subtly altering a speed limit sign on the side of a road in a way that a person driving by would almost never notice. Tesla encourages such hacking to help assure that its systems perform as advertised and to help it work to correct any potential vulnerabilities. McAfee shared the results of its tests with both Tesla and Mobileye. Tesla and Mobileye severed ties a few years back. Now the automaker handles all aspects of its current autopilot and full self-driving technology in-house. McAfee admits that its early tests of Tesla's new proprietary autopilot system haven't proven the same issue. However, there are still many Tesla cars on the road with this first-gen mobile iteration of autopilot and its proven vulnerabilities. So it's pretty obvious to say that Tesla is still making a lot of innovations to its self-driving system. But still there are vulnerabilities in the system that Tesla needs to fix soon. 
and as we all know Tesla is known for its innovations and improvements, so we might see more advanced self-driving systems soon. That's it for now. So what are your thoughts about this? Let us know in the comments. Stay tuned at the Electric Arena for all the latest Tesla and electric vehicle news.